In this series, we'll be looking at all the French queen consorts starting with the Carolingian dynasty. Ermentrude was the daughter of Odo I, Count of Orleans, and was born in 823. She was queen of Western Francia as the wife of Charles the Bold. Together, the couple had ten children. One of them, Louis, would later succeed as father to the throne as Louis II. Ermentrude was talented with embroidery and had a large interest in religious foundations. Further, she was described as a strong woman. She died in 869 and was buried in Paris. Richilde of Provence was the second wife of Charles the Bold and was born in 845. The marriage was set up to secure Charles's rule in Lotharingia through a powerful family. Lotharingia was a successor kingdom of the Carolingian Empire and is located in what's today Luxembourg, East Belgium, south of the Netherlands and partially in France and Germany. Richilde bore Charles five more children, but only one daughter survived to adulthood. After Charles' death, she ruled as regent for his son, Louis II. When Louis II died in 879, all of his children were too young to be placed on the throne, and so Richilde tried to place her own brother, Boso, on the throne. Although this plan failed, she managed to put Boso on the throne of Provence. When the empire was threatened by the Normans, she was forced to return to Provence, where she died in 910. Adelaide of Paris was the daughter of the then Count of Paris and the second wife of Louis II, also known as Louis the Stammerer. Despite the wish of his father, Louis married the Ansgard of Burgundy in a secret wedding and even had two children with her. After his father requested Pope John VIII to annul the marriage, he married his son to Adelaide in February 1875. However, due to the close blood relationship between the couple, the Pope refused to ever crown Adelaide. Louis de Stammerer died in April 1879 when Adelaide was pregnant. She gave birth to their only child, who later became known as Charles the Simple. The birth of Charles led to a dispute between Adelaide and Louis' first wife, Ansgard. Eventually, Adelaide succeeded in winning the case, but despite this, Ansgard's sons, Louis and Carloman, remained kings until their deaths in 882 and 884. After a time where the crown was contested between Odo, Count of Paris, and Charles the Fat, Adelaide's son succeeded to the throne. Adelaide died in 901. Theodorate of Troyes was the wife of Odo, Count of Paris, who was elected king of Western Francia after his predecessor, Charles the Fat, was overthrown. There is not much known about her or if the couple had any children. There were claims that the couple had a son named Arnold, who died shortly after his father. Theodorate died in 903. Redruna was the daughter of the Duke of Saxony and was born in what's today known as Germany. She became queen consort of West Francia upon her marriage to Charles the Simple. Together, the couple had six daughters. She died in 917 at the age of 29. After the death of Fredruna, Charles went on to marry Edgip, who was the daughter of Edward the Elder, King of Wessex and England. She had two sisters who were also married off to other continental rulers. She married Charles around the year 919 and bore him one son, the future Louis IV. Charles was deposed after being defeated at the Battle of Soissons and was taken as prisoner. To protect her son's safety, Edgif took Louis to England in 923, where he stayed until 936 when he traveled back to France to be crowned king. She was later abducted by Herbert the Old, Count of Amois, who married her. She died in France in an unknown year, but is not recorded after the year 951. Charles the Simple died in 929 while he was still imprisoned. He was succeeded by Robert I rather than his son. Robert crowned himself king with the help of some powerful nobles which led to Charles the Simple gathering an army and fighting against him in the Battle of Soissons, which I mentioned earlier. Robert was killed in that battle, but his army won, so that's the reason why Charles was imprisoned until his death in 929. Robert married Beatrice of Bermondois in 819. She was the daughter of the Count of Bermondois and a descendant of Charlemagne. Together they were the ancestors of the Capetian dynasty. They were the parents of Hugh the Great and Emma of France who would become the next queen consort. Robert I was succeeded by his son-in-law, Rudolf. Rudolf became king thanks to his marriage to Emma of France. She defended her husband's right to the throne against the Carolingian claimant Charles the Simple and her brother-in-law, Herbert II of Vermondois. Emma was the first Frankish queen who was known to have been crowned. Together, the couple had one son named Louis. Rudolf was succeeded by the son of Charles the Simple, Louis IV. Louis IV married Gerberga of Saxony. Gerberga was first married to the Duke of Lorraine, with whom she had four children. She was widowed at 26 and went on to marry Louis in 939. She bore him eight more children. The eldest of them, Lothar, succeeded to the throne at only 13 years old, upon the death of his father. Gerberga acted as regent during Lothar's minority. She reached an agreement with her brother-in-law, Hugh the Great, to secure Lothar's place on the throne. 
In exchange, she granted Hugh the rule over Aquitaine and most of Burgundy. After Hugh's death, Gerberga and her sister Hedwiga, who was Hugh's widow, were the heads of the two most powerful dynasties in West Francia. Even after Lothar came to age, Gerberga stayed politically active, being involved in the choice of the new Archbishop of Reims. She is further described as highly educated and intelligent. Her son went on to marry Emma of Italy, who happened to be her brother's stepdaughter. Emma was the daughter of the King of Italy and married Lothar in 965. Their marriage was marked by hostilities between her husband and her half-brother Otto II, each invading each other's territories. Together the couple had one son, Louis V, who would later become the last Carolingian monarch. After Lothar died in 986, Emma was moved away from court by her own son, who accused her of poisoning him. It is unclear what happened to Emma later. It is said that she either died in a Burgundian convent or married Duke Boselaus of Bohemia. However, most historians do not believe in the second marriage.